Hello again, this is George and Retha Piet. What you're looking at right now on, on your screen, hopefully, is a picture of Mary washing Jesus' feet with the oil and wiping them with her hair. Uh, as we always do, we'll start the reading of the Psalms with an opening prayer. In the name of the Father, Father and the Son, and, and the Holy Spirit, Spirit. Amen. Amen. Brave Joseph, one with us in our human condition. With Mary and G Jesus, you were forced to become refugees, experiencing mistrust, hunger, and hostility. You did not retaliate. You chose the way of mercy. You, your restraint broke the circle of violence because of your uprightness. God's hope in humanity continues. Gladness is yours, for the kingdom of God is your inheritance. Sustain us in cultivating inner peace, joy, and serenity. Make your, our hands benevolent in times of war, famine, and ex exile. Keep us from developing a victim's mentality and turn our pain into a source of growth. In your wisdom, lead us to close all doors to bitterness so that under God's watch, we may now know God's joy. Amen. And in, in the name of the, the Father, Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. We Come. Will Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Amen. We are starting with Psalm number 53, a lament over widespread corruption. The fool says in his heart, there is no God. They act corruptly and practice injustice. There is none that does good. God looks out from the heavens upon the children of Adam to see if there is a discerning person who is seeking God. All have gone astray. Each one is altogether perverse. There is not one who does what is good, not even one. Do they not know better those who do evil, who feed upon my people as they feed upon bread? Have they not called upon God? They are going to fear his name with great fear, though they are not feared it before. For God will scatter their bones of those encamped against you. They will, be, they will surely be put to shame, for God has rejected them. Who will bring forth from Zion the salvation of Israel? When God reverses the captivity of his people, Jacob will rejoice and Israel will be glad. Psalm number 54, confident prayer in great peril. O oh God, by your name save me, by your strength defend my cause. O oh God, hear my prayer. Listen to the words of my mouth. Strangers must have risen against me. The ruthless seek my life. They do not keep God before them. God is present as my helper, and the Lord sustains my life. Turn back the evil upon my foes, and your faithfulness destroy them. Then I will offer you generous su sacrifice and give thanks to your name, Lord, for it is good, because it has re rescued me from every trouble, and my eyes look down on my foes. Psalm number 55, a lament over betrayal. Listen, God, to my prayer. Do not hide from my pleading. Hear me and give answer. I rock with grief. I groan at the uproar of the enemy, the clamor of the wicked. They heap trouble upon me, savagely accuse me. My heart pounds within me. Death's terrors fall upon me. Fear and trembling overwhelm me. Shuddering sweeps over me. I say, if only I had wings like a dove, that I might fly away and find rest. Far away I would flee. I would stay in the desert. I would soon find a shelter from the raging wind and storm. Lord, check and confuse their tongues. For I see violence and strife in the city, making rounds on its walls day and night. Within are mischief and trouble. Treachery is in its midst. Oppression and fraud never leave its 
streets, for it is not an enemy that reviled me that I could bear, not a foe who viewed me with contempt from that I could hide, but it was you, my other self, my comrade and friend, you whose company I enjoy, at whose side I walk in the house of God. Let death take them, let them go down alive to Shlom, for evil is in their homes and bellies. But I will call upon God, and the Lord will save me. At dusk, dawn, and noon, I will grieve and complain, and my prayer will be heard. He will redeem my soul in peace for those who war against me, though there are many who oppose me. God, who sits enthroned forever, will hear me and if afflict them, for they will not mend their ways. They have no fear of God. He stretched out his hand at his friends and broke his covenant. Softer than butter in it is his speech, but war is in his heart. Smoother than oil are his words, but they are unsheathed swords. Cast your care upon the Lord, who will give you support. He will never allow the righteous to stumble, but you, God, will bring them down to the pit of destruction. These bloodthirsty liars will not live half their days, but I put my trust in you. Psalm number 56, Trusting God. Have mercy on me, God, for I am treated harshly. Attackers press me all the day. My foes treat me harshly all the day. Yes, many are my attackers. O Most High, when I am afraid, in you I place my trust. I praise the word of God. I trust in God. I do not fear. What can mere flesh do to me? All the day they foil my plans. Their every thought is of evil against me. They hide together in ambush. They watch my every step. They lie and wait for my life. They are evil. Watch them, God. Cast the nations down in, their, in your anger. My wanderings you have noted. Are my tears not stored in your flask, recorded in your book? My foes turn back when I call on you. This I know, God is on my side. I praise the word of God. I praise the word of the Lord. In God I trust. I do not fear. What can man do to me? I have made vows to you, God. With offerings I will fulfill them. For you have snatched me from death kept my feet from stumbling, that I may walk before God in the light of the living. Psalm 57, Confident Prayer for Deliverance. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. In you I seek refuge. In the shadow of your wings I seek refuge till harm pass by. I call to God most high, to God who provides for me. May God send help from heaven to save me. Shame those who trample upon me. May God send fidelity and mercy. I must lie down in the midst of lions, hungry for human prey. Their teeth are spears and arrows, their tongue a sharpened sword. Be exalted over the heavens. May your glory appear above all earth. They have set a trap for my feet. My soul is bowed down. They have dug a pit before me. May they fall into it themselves. My heart is steadfast, God. My heart is steadfast. I will sing and chant praise. Awake, my soul, awake, lyre and harp. I will wake the dawn. I will praise you among the peoples, Lord. I will chant your praise among the nations. For your mercy towers to the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the skies. Exalt yourself over the heavens. God may glory your appear above all the earth. Psalm 58, the dethroning of unjust rulers. Do you indeed pronounce justice, O gods? Do you ju judge fairly your children of Adam? No, you freely engage in crime. Your hands dispense violence to the earth. The wicked have been corrupt since birth, 
liars from the womb. They have gone astray. Their venom is like the venom of a snake, like that of a serpent stopping its ear, so as not to hear the voice of the charmer or the enchanter with cunning spells. O oh God, smash the teeth in their mouths. Break the fangs of these lions, Lord. Make them vanish like water flowing away, trodden down. Let them wither like grass. Let them dissolve like a snail that oozes away, like an untimely birth that never sees the sun. Suddenly, like brambles or thistles, have the whirlwind snatch them away. Then the just shall rejoice to see the vengeance and bathe their feet in the blood of the wicked. Then people will say, Truly, there is a reward for the just. There is a God who is just on judge on earth. We will stop at this point for today uh, with a closing prayer and, uh, and hope to see you again tomorrow. So let us pray for the prayer for, for St. Joseph, protector of our church, caring Joseph, collaborator in God's project for humanity. Your tenderness enfolds the newborn church as you enfold your newborn son. Just as Mary and Jesus recognized in you the protection of the Father, so too does the community of faith place itself under your protection. Strengthen us with the Spirit that imbued the Nazarene home. Guide our progress on the passage towards the kingdom. Accompany us in carrying out our mission. Help us to be lights in the world so that the family of God may spring forth from humanity transfigured in Christ. Grant us the patience to imitate God's preference for the poor and weak. Guard us in our pastoral activities that our actions may be modeled under the good news. Amen. Amen. We will see you again tomorrow. In the name of the Father, Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen.